I have here um, the cover of my Shutterfly book, and uh, my first Shutterfly book, and I was so excited and so happy to um, get uh, that done and receive it in the mail. It was really awesome. But I want to um, share with you how to uh, put photos into text. It's really quite easy. I've already got this set up to save time on the uh, tutorial and I've just put a solid color background in there to work on and I have gone ahead and made my uh, text there's my A I lost it for a moment um, to save time my text is uh, called a reserve grunge but uh, you can use any fat font that you want to use I've uh, gone ahead and put the photos I'm going to use with each of the letters uh, above the letter I'm going to uh, make this one visible put it over the letter press control G and now I can uh, resize this until I see all three of my boys showing somewhere and I think I just accidentally made them fat I'm going to hit my back button there I can see all three of my boys in the sea now an important step um, that we need to do because you will notice when I right click on here I cannot merge uh, just these two layers and in order to uh, make that capability I have to right click on the text layer and simplify it now I'll no longer be able to edit the text as text uh, but it will allow me to be able to group uh, the two which is going to be important for me to put uh, the uh, border around so now I can right click on the photo layer and choose uh, merge down and you'll see those two are now one layer and I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the A let's go ahead and press control G and this time I think I just want the two younger boys on either side of the A. Now I can right click and merge down. Of course I take more time to do this more precisely uh, if I weren't hurrying for this video. I want to show you another way that you can do this. It's not a way that I prefer to do uh, but it, it is another way that it can be done if it's a way you like. I'm going to lower the op opacity of the photo so I can see where their face is uh, are lined up in the photo. then I'm going to raise that opacity up again I'm going to hold down my control key and click on this thumbnail in the uh, layers palette and with the photo layers the active layer hit control J I'm going to make these two layers invisible and you can see I've cut that out but you can see how difficult it is how much harder it is I've kind of cut my son's face off here and so I'm going to go back and uh, do this with the control G method instead and I can line it up a lot better let me quickly do uh, the other two letters uh, maybe watching it repetitively will help you learn get both their faces in there right click merge down here I go again I want to control G oh, and that kind of worked out perfectly and merge down 
and now you can see I have all of these letters individually but now I want to add a uh, drop shadow to each of them and you can see them beginning to uh, come to life but to make them pop even more I'm going to make my foreground color white. I'm going to go to the Edit drop down menu, Stroke, and 30 pixels is too big. Hit my Undo button. I kind of thought it would, but I had to test it. Let's try about 15. There. Did it right there on the Y. And then you can uh, easily go and quickly do that for all of the letters. And then I can uh, reposition them as I need to. Make them closer or if I wanted to I could um, hold down my control key and select all of them together and make them larger or smaller as I needed to. I'm anxious to see what you do um, using this technique. I think it's a really fun technique and I'll be seeing you around the forums.